I tried writing Hello World in x86 assembly. It did not help my paranoia. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and I was like, WTF are words. Hey, knowing what words are is very important. This is a... Uh, Oh man, this is something people get wrong when it comes to computers, especially when you talk to people who don't program with computers, or even if they do, they have a misunderstanding, like a fundamental misunderstanding. I see this in my comment section all the time. People are like, oh yeah, you got to write it in binary, binary zeros and ones. That's the fastest thing to a computer. That's all a computer sees is zeros and ones. It's like, I mean, sure, wherever we choose to take a snapshot of the computer, I could argue that all the computer sees is high and low voltages. I mean... At what point do we stop reducing it down to a constituent parts and talk about it at some macro level that makes sense? Um, so with that in mind, it's like people will say like, you know, zeros and ones are fundamentally how your CPU sees. It's like, I don't think that's true. I think words are. And what a word is defined as depends on like, you know, your CPU, your architecture, all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's why people like when they first start programming C, they're like, you know, a Boolean should just be one bit. It's like, should it be one bit? Like that might actually be slower. To, uh, what do I have to do? Pad that to send that to my CPU? Um, you can use bit fields. I could take like a single, you know, eight bit number and store eight Boolean values in it. Um, that's just an example. But like, yeah, a lot of people make that mistake where they they're like, oh, you know, binaries like that's just what your computer speaks natively. It's like, I don't think it is. And I, I think your computer thinks in words, not bits. I get this a lot, though. People will say, like, you know, computers just work on, like, the fundamental of reality, which is just zeros and ones. It's like, really? Like, this power supply takes an immense amount of power to take a spectrum of analog signals and turn it into very specific zeros and ones. Like, that creates heat. Like, that takes power to represent the universe in zeros and ones when it's all analog and spectrums out there. Like, it seems like people just choose to stop at some arbitrary point and they're like, this is as low as I'm going to go. So this must be the lowest there is. And it's like, okay, well, that's that's your problem right there. That's that's the fallacy. That's the mistake you made. You just chose to stop there. And now, while it might be low, it's not the lowest you could possibly go. Ah, oh, man.